Okay. Hello. We're here with uh, Angela. She's one of my patients. Um, I've seen her before for a shoulder. Yes. But now she got a new injury. She was in a karate fight. Was this one of these situations in which both participants kick at the same time and they kick each other on the shin? Aww. Here, there's obviously a delineated area where the kick occur. This happened how long ago? Last week. After the kick, I did. I continued with the fight, but it swelled up, but it went numb. And I thought, well, I go home, put some ice on it, it'll be okay. And it wasn't quite okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then she went to the emergency room and took x-rays. X-rays didn't show any fractures, gave him some anti-inflammatory medication. She was told she had fluid on the knee, and that's why she came here. For the orthopedic surgeon, fluid on the knee means the kneecap, it usually is a floating bone. So when that area fills up with fluid, it expands. Fluid on the knee, the way that we checked it is we put the leg fully straight. And then the kneecap, you can actually palpate the bone. So what we do is we put two fingers on the medial and lateral side and try to palpate those two borders. If you push and you feel a ballotment test, it's called ballotment because you push here and the fluid pushes your finger outwards. That means that there's fluid in the knee joint. In her case, can palpate both uh, borders of the kneecap. So right away, I know that there's no fluid on the knee. The knee joint also extends or on about four finger breaths superior to the kneecap and about two or three finger breaths underneath. Usually this bony prominence that we all have. So that's where the knee joint stops. Her bone bruise is below that area. Now, the sheen is a very sensitive area because there's not much meat in between the skin and the bone. Any impact that occurs on the, on the sheen area gets absorbed by the bone. And the bone is a light tissue, has a lot of blood vessels, so it tends to swell up. All this bruising, it's blood and swelling coming from the bone reflected into the soft tissue. For this particular bone bruise, what we do is she can move her knee, she's able to walk, Okay, so she moves the knee, just painful. When we have a bone bruise, the treatment is just waiting for it to heal on its own. I told her that the swelling can take a few weeks to go down. In order for her to help on the swelling, I told her to use some compression stockings, the ones that marathon runners use. Uh, I recommend the knee high ones because that will compress the calf. That compression, when she walks, is gonna allow the swelling to go down. Also, I told her foot pumps, do your foot pumps. Foot pumps also contracts the calf. If you see the calf here is contracting as she, moves, she does that movement. So the calf is like the water pump from the lower extremity. The more you do it, the more you shift that water outside of the knee. Also in the setting of lower extremity trauma, what was your biggest concern? Blood clot. A blood clot, <laughs> which is very common nowadays. Pumping the calf will increase the blood flow through the veins. Blood clots come from when the patient is immobilized and that blood stays in the veins and doesn't move in and out. So by doing foot pumps, by being active, by walking, moving the knee, the chances of blood clotting decreases. Patients with blood clots, they can't do that movement. That movement is very painful with someone that has a blood clot on the leg. So right away I know there's no risk for blood clot. In her case, you know, anti-inflammatory medication, compression stockings, Observe it for six to eight weeks for it to resolve. If it resolves, but there's still some lingering effect, perhaps we can do an injection of that area. There's a bursa that uh, attaches to that area of the knee, so we can put a, a steroid injection to decrease that inflammation. But, uh, but it's basically letting it heal on its own. And it's important that patients know that they, they feel more comfortable knowing that you don't have to do anything else. Any concerns that you have? Nope, you've addressed them all. Okay.